Elizabeth, it's happened to him, but none of his neighbors. And authorities say it seems someone is having target practice in his pasture. Come on, girls. Bruce DeVault spends a lot of his time trying to keep his cattle happy and well-fed. How y'all doing? He's been a rancher here for the past 17 years on land owned by his family since the 1800s. Even the big boy looks good. But recently, Bruce feels like he's being targeted. Over the past several years, two of his bulls have been shot and killed with a high-powered rifle. And then, last year, two more pregnant cows were also gunned down. These photos were provided by the Johnson County Sheriff's Department. Every time it's happened, it's cost the rancher thousands of dollars. We work hard enough for a living. We don't, we don't need this kind of frustration added into everything. It's hard. You just can't afford to keep dropping money like that, and especially if it's shot out from underneath you. The gate was gone. As if that wasn't bad enough. They cut the chain bolt cutters. Someone stole his cattle gate two weeks ago. With nothing to keep them fenced in, 25 cattle wandered out of the pasture. So I woke up the next morning, had cattle on, on the street. I had to get them back in. Not the way you want to wake up? No, not at all. <laughs> Bruce said none of his neighbors have lost livestock, and he can't figure out who would be trying to send a message. However, he knows it's happened one too many times to be a coincidence. Why do you do such things? What, what is the point? Is it, is it fun? You know, I don't understand. Bruce recently joined a program called Trace, which is organized by the Johnson County Sheriff's Department. It's basically an online neighborhood watch for people in the agriculture and construction business on both sides of the state line. A detective told me there are no suspects in Bruce's case, but did say, quote, someone is getting a kick picking cows out of his pasture and then shooting. Ryan Kath, NBC Action News.